Hello, welcome to today's video. This is the app 20. Of course, I'm super excited to have you here. So in today's tutorial, I'll be taking you through the Pixel app interface. I'll be holding you by your hand, even if you don't know how to design before at all. You have not designed before with your smartphone, no problem, you are covered. What if I know how to design before? I encourage you to stay with me through this video, as I'll be showing you a lot of things you don't even know that you can do with your smartphone in Pixel Lab. Let's get started. So when you open your Pixel Lab, this is your Pixel Lab interface. The first icon I want to show you is the five major icon at the down part of your Pixel Lab, okay? Okay, we start with the one, the first one. In this first one, you see my project. My project is where you see all the works you have designed in your Pixel Lab. In case you want to make any corrections, from there you can retrieve back the work and make your corrections. Then you see some default backgrounds here. We don't normally make use of this. You can make use of this white part here. Okay, so that just is about the first icon. The second icon that looks that is that is in A format is the A icon. That's the test icon. This is where you write in your stuff, okay? So when you click on the A icon, click on test, click on edit. You can write in anything you want. So let's say, Jesus loves me. Okay? You see your right top here. So with this, your right tops, when you type in anything, you begin to see these icons here. These icons will help you to work effectively on your test, okay? You click on edit if you want to edit the right top. They click on delete, you delete the right top, okay? Good. If you want to copy it into two or three places, click on copy, it will copy, okay? To front or to back, I will still teach you how to make use of that letter. Then position, if you want to move your right top. Now, there are some instances, you can actually use your hand to move it up, down, center. But there are some cases in your design where you will need to move it using your position, okay? Just click on your position and you can increase the speed. You can reduce the speed, okay? Okay, move it up, down, left, right, anyhow, okay? So the next thing is relative position. Relative position helps you to position your right top at the center. So if you want this Jesus loves me to be at the center of this working space now, just click at this front center one, Click at this second center one, it will be at the center. If you want it to move to the edge, that's the right side, click on this, to the left, this. If you want it to move up, this. If you want it to move down, this. So that's just it about this, okay? Mark this good sign. The next thing is size. You can increase or decrease the size of your right up from here. The next one is padding. You still know how to use that. Then the next one is color. From color, you can choose any color you want for your right top. Okay, we are seeing it. Any color at all. Then we also have gradient. Gradient helps you to choose two different two different color for one right top. Okay, let me see. This is the default um, gradient in your pixel lab. Let's go with this black and white. So when you click on it, click on this plus icon here. We want to change the color, the one that is white, we want to change it. So select it here, click on it. When it shows this yellow stuff, you know that you have selected it. So when it's yellow, click on this last icon here. You see this color wheel. So from this color wheel, you can pick any color you want at all. Okay, let me select you red. Then from these three lines, you can adjust it, whether you want it to be dark red, light red okay i'll click okay i will select the black one make sure you see yellow then click on this last icon here then from here to you can select any color you want let's say light blue okay click okay hope you have seen it we have our right up blue and red so you can choose two different color for your light a right up Two different colors for your right top in your test. Okay, mark this good sign. The next one is texture. Maybe you don't want to use the colors that you have in your pixel lab. You want to texture in a color. So click on texture. Click here. I will just select this particular one. Then I will crop out the part I want to texture in. Hope you are seeing it. Look at this. You are seeing it now. Our right top now have the color 
of that shape we just texture into this. Then the next thing we're going to see is opacity. You can reduce or increase the opacity. If you want it to be showing small, you reduce the opacity. So that just it for it. Rotate, you can rotate, okay? That just it. Then max, make use of it later. Then font. When you open your font, you have different fonts that your smartphone comes in with, okay? You can make use of it. You can also download from fonts from your Chrome, your the font. I'll still be dropping a video on that. So check the video on my YouTube channel on how to create fonts in your Pixel app. Okay, how to bring in fonts, how to download fonts to your Pixel app, sorry. Okay. So the next one, you're going to see style. We have bold, italic, and underline here. So you can decide to bold your right or make it more bold. Okay, you can decide to make it italic, then you can decide to underline it. Hope you're seeing it. So if you want to remove all this effect, just click here. It will remove everything. Okay, good. Okay, yeah, you can curve it. Okay, curving. Okay, when you curve and you want it to go back to the way it was before, just click on this icon here. This icon that has something like an arrow. Okay, to take it back. Okay, the next one is background. You can add background to your right top. Just enable it. So you are seeing it. That's the background now. If you want to change the color of the background, it can be red. This, 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 this. Okay. Good. That just it. Okay. The next thing is align. Align. You know, we normally make use of this when you have more than three lines of right tops. Okay. You can decide to. This is center alignment. Okay. This is left alignment and this is right alignment, okay? You make use of it more as you go on in your design. Okay, we have spacing. You can decide to space it out. We have spacing by letters and spacing by words. Okay, by letter, you are spacing out, say, J-E-S-U-S. -S -S. By words, you are spacing out, Jesus loves me. If you have seen it. So that just it. I will take it back to the normal by clicking here. Okay, good. Stroke, you can add stroke to it and you can change the stroke color as well. I hope you are seeing it. Yes, so that just it. If you want to remove it, disable it. Okay, good. We have other things here. You learn it as you go on in your design. I don't want this video to be too long. Okay, so the next thing, the next icon we are looking at now is this center icon here. From this center icon here, you will see sticker, you see import, you see draw, you see shapes, you will see big cell and you will see arrow at the center icon. Okay, when you come to um, stickers, you can, you don't normally make use of this, just for you to know it's there, okay? Then the next thing is import. From here, you can import your, import your pictures or anything you want to use for your design, okay? You can import anything here, anything at all, anything, anything. Let's say you want to import this. Okay, from here you can import anything, both pictures, anything you want to use for your design. Flowers, this is where you will import it from. Okay, draw, you can draw anything. We may, we talk about that later. The next important thing here is shapes. Okay, this is the default shape it comes with. If you want to select circle or any other color, or any other shape, sorry, just click on this point down icon here. Then you see other shapes, you can select any one you want. And make use of it when you scroll down you can decide to reduce the opacity of the shape okay okay you can decide to change the color you are seeing it okay also have to can say the add stroke to the shape and you can as well choose the color you want the stroke to carry hope you are seeing it okay so that just it about that okay about shapes and everything so and when you select this shape, there are many things you can do here. You can copy, you can delete, you can crop. If you want to crop out, let's say this. You have, you have just generated a very wonderful shape here. You can crop, select this, go to crop. You can copy it as much as you want. Okay. Now, let me show you the use of this to front and to back. As you can see now, this shape is in front of this. If I want this shape to go to the back, 
just click select the shape this one click on to back you see if you are seeing it it will go to the back of this okay this one to back if you want to move it to front click on to front it will come back so that just it position relative position relative size the same thing with the ones i have explained as regards to the test okay then color the same thing texture the same thing opacity the same thing okay stroke okay this eraser you can use it to erase any parts you don't want in this okay you can increase it here increase the cleaning stuff here so that it will be big enough and help you to clean faster okay yeah that's just what we use it for okay Okay, wait. So, hope you have seen it. Use it to erase any parts you want. Okay, and other mm -hmm. stuff here. Okay, other things here, you learn how to use them more as you go in your design. So, these I want to show us the basic things that you need to do exploit in your design. The more as you go on, you learn more. So, the last icon we'll talk about is this icon. This is the background icon. From here, you can change the color of your background. Just go to color here. Make sure you're on the background icon here. Then click on color. You can select any color you want for your background. Hope you are seeing it. From gradient to, you can choose any color. This is the color we choose for that right up, okay? Yeah, you can as well choose the, any color you want. Meanwhile, when you come to this gradient, let me show you something else. You can change the rotation of your color. If you are seeing this, hope you are seeing now. The red is now one side and the yellow is this. It changes to be like this. It can be at the center. Okay. Look at these six bosses up. That's what then you can change the rotations and everything. Okay, hope you are seeing it. So you can change the color of your background from here. Okay. So the next thing is you can make your background to be transparent by clicking on transparent. Hope you are seeing it. Good. You can as well bring in the background you want to use from your gallery. In case you want to use a background from your gallery, just click on from gallery. Let me just import this. I've seen it. It will now become the background of your design. Okay. So that's basically it for the this one here. We don't normally make use of it that much for our design. So these are the basic ones that you need in your design. So let's move up to the up icon here. When you come up to this stop icon, you will see plus. From this plus, you will see test, current date. I've already taught us how to use test. You see sticker, shape, from gallery, draw. We also have those things at the down part here. So we move to the next icon here. This one helps you to save your work. Remember, you save as project and you also save as what? As image. And when you want to save as image, click on this default, select ultra and save to what? save to gallery or if you want to share to your friend go ahead and share to them remember to save as project type in any name you want to use and then click ok like i said before the reason why you save as project is so that by the time you want to retrieve your work and want to make corrections so that you will not start afresh and start making the design again okay so this icon sorry not this this one here is for share you want to share your design to anybody you are good to go then this one this fourth icon is for quotes any quotes and motivations anything at all now these three dots here help us to do a lot of things okay you can from yes use image from your gallery one of the major things we use this place to do is to change the size of our design now when it's come to design um, there are de designs we make um, use of different sizes Maybe in church design, you want to print it out and everything. Of course, every design you make with your smartphone, you can print it out. So from this image size, you can actually do what? Change the size of your design, okay? To suit what you want to do, what you want to do, okay? Okay, so good. We are done with that. Then look at, let's look at the down icon here. After the pixel, there is this icon that looks like a curve icon. This helps you to go back. Let me assume that this particular shape now, I mistakenly move it here. Eh? And I want to go back. Just click on this icon. It will bring that back this shape to the place where it used to be before. Okay? If you continue to go back, 
we are seeing it. It will be taking us back. It will be taking us back. It will continue to take us back. Okay. So that's the purpose of this. Then this is the zoom icon. Okay. It helps you if you want to look at your design. Take a critical look at what you are doing to make sure that on the same line or stuff like that, just click on it. Click on that zoom icon. Then use your hand and drag it. You will see it. Okay. Click on it to go back again. Another important icon you should know about is this gray, this line here, yeah, this grid line. It helps you to regulate your design. It's very, very important. It make it helps you to make sure that your design are on a straight line. Imagine a situation whereby you want to position all this to be on a straight line. Sometimes if you use your hand to do it, oh, you may get tired at a particular time, okay? But yes, when you use this line, it will help you so much. It will help you to make sure everything everything is what is uh, using that line to help you so much to make sure everything is on a straight line i hope you are seeing it it's very 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 important of course you can move this line just click on this icon here you are seeing it. if you click on this icon look at this this one not not the you this one you can be able to move these icons we are seeing it you can be able to move it to anywhere you want it to do what to be okay so you can as well add more or remove if you want to add the horizontal line see click on this if you want to add the vertical one click on this hope you are seeing it it is very very important because it will help you in your design to make sure your designs are on a straight line to go back click here click on that same grid line icon and it will go okay then this last icon here is this icon here so this icon here is actually very very important when you are designing let's say for this jesus loves you now and you don't want it to move when you are designing what you're going to do is just to click on that icon locate it here then lock it okay or maybe you even don't want to be seeing it click on this icon that looks like a human eye okay it will go but it will still be there if you want to bring it back click on it okay so this can also help you to move your design to the back or to the front by just press holding on these three dots and moving it like this okay when you move it goes up so you will also learn more about this as you go on in your graphic design journey so this is just it about this introduction to this pixel lab okay take your time go through this video you'll be learning a whole lot of things is a lot of things in this video okay yeah make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel if you find this video interesting give it a thumbs up and turn on the notification icon the notification bell as i'll be uploading more videos in this youtube channel that will be of most important to you i will see you in the next video god bless you <laughs>